For the first time since Hayden Jones of Texas A&M in 2012, a non-University of Texas men's diver is leading after the men's one-meter preliminaries. And that's the TCU freshman, freshman. David Ekdahl. The Sweden native had an incredible prelims. His score of a 372.20 is actually a personal record and a new school record. When I talked to his head coach, Anthony Crowder, earlier, he mentioned David trains for competitions. He dives on all the springboards. Normally, a diver will pick a springboard to train on and get comfortable with them. But David, he's comfortable being uncomfortable. Needs 44.16 to break his own school record. Really nice dive to finish the competition with. Ekdahl just needing 31.10 points to win. And he gets it done, a 60.45. He will become the first diver to win a Big 12 championship from TCU. Last night we saw maybe an upset in the men's one meter springboard. Can we see the same thing tonight for the women? We could. We'll see a nice mix of women competing from four of the different schools. Got to start the leader, Haley Hernandez, the freshman from the University of Texas, competed in the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games where she got ninth on the three meter springboard. Matt Scoggin, our coach, telling me she has not had any post Olympic drop off. If anything, she helps motivate and push the women seniors on her team. As for her improvements in her diving, her hurdle has helped her front twister, which was actually her highest scoring dive in the prelims. As for someone to challenge Hernandez, that's Jia Yu Chen, the standout from Kansas. She actually got second on the one meter springboard at Big 12s in 2020, two years ago. She didn't compete last season due to COVID-19 and her head coach, Alan Fang, telling me Jia Yu Chen's fun personality helps motivate and pick up her teammates. So a handful of really competitive divers in the finals tonight from WVU, TCU, Texas, and Kansas. Kyle should be a good one. Back to you. Yeah! Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Hernandez just needs over wow. 40 points. And 70 she point does it. Two. 70.2. 70.2 .2 on that dive. Haley Hernandez is your Big 12 champion as a freshman. Her first event she's ever competed at the Big 12 Conference Championships, and she wins it. We'll have a double dose of three meters, starting with the women, where Haley Hernandez, the freshman from Texas, is seated first. She already secured that first Big 12 title on the one meter last night, so a quick turnaround for her. Her teammate, Bridget O'Neill, is seated beneath her. She's the defending champion in this event, but when you look at the top four qualifiers, in third, you've got Morgan Menager. She had a career-best prelim score, and Paola Pineda in fourth. Any of these women could come and win this competition, depending on who dies the best tonight. Unbelievable. Hernandez just disappears in the water. She needs 42.60 points for... 81 even for Haley Hernandez. She is clutch. Unbelievable. Hernandez lives up to the pressure. The Olympian, she got ninth in the Tokyo Games on the three meter. She already has a Big 12 title under her belt. An incredible competition and fright from the freshman. Some power on the end of the springboard, squares it out, lines it up, that extension into the water. Her diving is so fundamentally correct and her technique, her toe point, stretches for the lineup. And with this win, Haley Hernandez is two for two in Big 12 championship events. That 418.50 is a new meet record. So not only is she making history winning these back-to-back -back titles, she's also breaking the meet record as a freshman. Haley Hernandez, the freshman from Texas, earning back-to-back -back Big 12 championship titles. Haley, incredible. How did you get it done? You know, today, uh, three meters is my favorite of it, and I know there were some really great competitors, and, you know, I just got fueled by that. You know, people hitting dive after dive just really fuels me to really dial in and do the best I can. 
certainly is your best event. You got ninth in the Tokyo Games just a few months ago. When I talked to Matt Scoggin, he said there was no post-Olympic drop-off with you. You came in and you were ready to work. You're actually helping to motivate the teammates. How were you able to do that? You know, being consistent, I think, is a big part of our sport and just continuing to work and work every day to, you know, build consistency, gain strength, and just, you know, really dial in for the season that is coming. Your score of 418.50 is a new meet record. You just continue to pile on these historic finishes. Congratulations, Haley, on incredible diving this evening. Thank you so much. Haley Hernandez, back-to-back -back Big 12 winner. He needs more than 32.83 points on this dive to set a career best. Home under pressure, so much on the line. 76.50 points on that dive. A 453.85. <laughs> Stays on the takeoff. Hikes out way before he enters the water. Teammates going crazy. Natalie, two more events to go from the diving well. What are we gonna see? Andrew Harness, the junior from Texas, is set up well entering tonight. He got second in this event last year, and I wanna talk about his third round dive in the prelims. His reverse two and a half, he actually received a 10 on this dive that you're about to see. His coach, Matt Scoggin, telling me his rip is better than ever, and Harness is appreciative of opportunity. Harness like a dart going in the water. What a great finish for Andrew Harness after getting second on the Big 12 platform last year. He wins it this year, his first title on the men's platform. Done with such grace and composure. Andrew, an emotional win on three meter. You turn around and you get the title again on platform. What has been key for you? Um, honestly, it's been uh, really important just to stay, you know, really in the zone, um, control my breathing. That's been huge. With all the adrenaline um, pumping through my body, especially during that three meter event, uh, it's just been really important to control my, my, uh, you know, uh, my mind and just try to do my best and happy with the result. This past year, being an Olympic year, you competed in the Olympic trials. How did that help you? Um, just having the uh, Olympic trials experience was really, uh, it was really a good experience to have because, you know, get to compete against the best guys in the country. I get to be exposed to different techniques of diving, different coaching styles. Um, I think it really helps to just see what's out there and uh, carry it into my own diving. NCAA zones, then NCAAs. What are your goals, Andrew? Uh, I'd really like to A final on platform. It's been my strongest board for I don't know how long since I started diving, I guess. And uh, hopefully A or B final on springboard as well and hope that, you know, help win that NCAA title for the team. Andrew Harness earns two back to back Big 12 titles. Congratulations, Andrew. Thank you. As for the women, Jordan Skilkin of Texas leading after prelims with a career best score. Her teammate, JD Boyle, is right behind her. Boyle got second in this event last year. Then there's the defending champion, Paula Pineda, who is third in prelims. Matt Scoggin told me at the end of a platform practice the other day, she said, I think that was my best day ever. She's taking advantage of what's been given to her and doing much more. Don't underestimate what any of these women can accomplish tonight. It will certainly be a battle of who can hit their dives. This was her highest scoring dive that put her in first in the prelims. She received eight and a halfs and nines on this dive. Jordan Skilkin 
lives up to the pressure and earns her second Big 12 title on the platform, receiving three tens on this dive. And how about Texas going back to back with Janie Boyle and Jordan Skilkin there in the last two dives of the women's platform final? Both getting some tens in there, Natalie. And they certainly deserve them. What a competitor. Jordan Skilkin kept her composure this entire finals. Gorgeous takeoff, tight pike, squares it out. That entry is picture perfect. Jordan, congratulations on your second Big 12 title. You won here two years ago. You got your career best today. What is it about this pool that works so well with your diving? Oh, man, I don't know. I think just the environment. Um, you know, away meets are always fun. Uh, you really get to spend a lot of time with the team. Um, and so I think just being here and really telling myself and remembering to have fun um, is what it's all about. So I think just staying calm, having fun is really, really what helped me. Congratulations and good luck at NCAA Zones and NC2As. Thank you so much. Thank you.